what I heard Pat say about his uncle in Tennessee about an Indian killing some two little girls and scalping them and cutting their fingers and toes off and putting them on his shot valve and had the scalps in his shot valve. But he had them on the outside. Well, this year, Uncle of my daddy, they were eight or nine boys in a bunch. And I never heard him say anything about it. But they all scattered except his daddy. And so this year, a fellow, he wore a number five shoe and weighed a little better than 200 pounds. And they said a horse just absolutely could not run him 200 yards. That is something impossible. And so they hunting that Indian the next day and said he spotted him at the head of the holler. They didn't have nothing on these old front rock guns, mud loaders, and such as that. Thing. Bob said that he didn't think that when he shot at anything that he could miss. And said the Indian shot at him, he shot at the Indian, and said he knew that he could hit, hit that Indian. <coughs> and said that he didn't have even a pocket knife in his pocket. But by golly, he to the distance and she was where they shot at one another. And the Indian threw his gun down and stroke to run. And my daddy's uncle took, took his gun down and take him right down that holler. And they got away down the holler while the Indian hung his foot in a Mustang grapevine and fell where all the time was ripped in that holler. And when he did, why, that said his uncle was a crowd named Sir Clove. That he went right on top of it. Well, that's what he did, why, he told. And the Indian had a big knife on him. He said he grabbed that knife out and put him on his arm so he couldn't use it. And said when they done that, that you have to see on the, the fingers and toes that guy and dangling on this here shot battle, the Indian. He said when he did, why well, said it made him mad. And he said he just taken and feel right there in the entire scalp off around and just feel it all. And said his uncle had that there in his scalp tan. 